wrestlers who were banned in WWE forever. At one stage, it looked like Ryback was going to be a key player in WWE for years to come. Ryback was over with the crowd and it could be argued that he was one of the most popular talents in the company between 2012 to 2013. With that being said, when Ryback departed the company, a dark side of him surfaced. Ryback for years has now made disgusting comments regarding WWE and their management and he's even targeted Vince McMahon's late mother. WWE have cut ties with the former Intercontinental Champion completely and due to his bizarre and disturbing behaviour that is still ongoing, it's likely that Ryback will never be mentioned on WWE programming ever again. Sonny is considered by many to be the first WWE diva and during the mid 90s, Sonny was a household name in WWE. Sonny's problems with the law are well documented and in the year 2012 alone, Sonny was arrested five times in a month. In 2022, Sonny was involved in a fatal crash that killed a 75 year old man. It was determined that Sonny was intoxicated during the crash and in late 2023, Sonny was sentenced to 17 and a half years in prison. Due to Sonny's inexcusable actions, she will never be mentioned on WWE programming in a positive manner again. During his numerous stints in WWE, Alberto Del Rio was pushed as a top main event level star. Yet in 2016, the more sinister side of Del Rio began to surface. When he began to date fellow WWE star Paige, it would surface that Del Rio was putting Paige through physical and mental abuse. Del Rio's conduct over the past 8 years has shattered his reputation within the pro wrestling industry. WWE wants absolutely nothing to do with the former WWE Champion and recently in December 2023, Del Rio was seen wrestling in a high school gym. At the start of 2024, Brock Lesnar was identified by the Wall Street Journal as the former UFC fighter referenced in a Vince McMahon lawsuit that included sex trafficking and gross misconduct. WWE were quick to act when it came to Lesnar as he was removed from all creative plans and this included a planned return at the 2024 Royal Rumble as well as subsequent PLE matches against Dominic Mysterio and Gunther respectively. WWE have since distanced themselves from the multi-time world champion and he hasn't been mentioned on WWE programming since the lawsuit surfaced. Lesnar has been removed from all promotional material as well as various other digital projects. Depending on the outcome of the lawsuit, it'll determine whether his ban will remain in place. But as things stand, Lesnar vs Cody Rhodes from 2023 SummerSlam event will have marked Lesnar's final appearance in WWE. The allegations surrounding Vince McMahon have dominated pro wrestling over the past two years and they become so serious and so sinister that McMahon is no longer an active part of WWE. This was the right call from those involved as McMahon's conduct and lawsuits were bringing negative press towards WWE and TKO Holdings needed to cut ties with McMahon. Due to the nature of McMahon's alleged conduct, WWE have since erased McMahon from history. He is never mentioned on TV and if his face is seen on any type of content such as a video game, then his face is blurred. Unfortunately, new disgusting allegations directed towards the WWE chairman surface on a regular basis, so it's highly unlikely that McMahon ever finds himself back in power in any capacity. Due to Chris Benoit's heinous actions in the summer of 2007, WWE sprung into action and decided the best course of action was to act like Benoit never existed. From the summer of 2007 onwards, Benoit hasn't been mentioned directly on WWE programming and his accolades and matches are never discussed. If a clip featuring Benoit is presented to fans, then the shots or images usually traditionally never feature him in any direct way. Benoit's biggest achievement during his career was no doubt his win at WrestleMania 20 main event, and although the match itself is a certified classic, clips and references to the match have been non-existent. Instead, WWE likes to promote either the Kane vs Undertaker and Eddie Guerrero vs Kurt Angle matches from WrestleMania 20, and over time, those matches have interchangeably become the new main events of the show. Even though some fans bizarrely try and push WWE to induct Benoit into the Hall of Fame as they would like WWE to honour his wrestling ability, there is ultimately no chance this would ever happen and Benoit will remain as the wrestler erased from WWE's history books forever. But there you have it folks, wrestlers who abandoned WWE forever. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.